If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today we have some pretty good news. We have some LTDs. We have some early team builder reveals, 32 of them actually, and we do have a title update coming, which is pretty important as well as per usual, especially with a game like Madden where there's typically some issues to be fixed. Also, guys, before we get into the video, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn the notification bell. Give us a big thumbs up. And of course, guys, if you need coins, hit them down below to my sponsor. And if you guys haven't seen already, I have partnered with Underdog Fantasy. If you guys want to be able to play some pretty awesome player props, do some pickums, play some daily fantasy, head them down below. My link will be in the description as well as my code. If you sign up with my code and use the or use the link in the description, I recommend both just in case. You get a match deposit up to 100 bucks, which pretty much means you can get a free $100 to go ahead and play, play around with, and have some fun in daily fantasy with. So make sure you guys do check that out. If you have any questions, DM me on Twitter or comment down below. Let's get into the video. So, title update, the highlights. Remove the user controlled release for tight ends on the delay fade hot route. That's interesting. They went ahead and finally did something like that because the delay delay fades in general have always been kind of a problem and kind of glitchy. Block and release now. Block and release routes will now be released via a very timer, which is interesting. I do like that because it's kind of stupid that people could just scramble out and use it. Fix an issue allowing user control defenders to get an unnatural speed burst at the snap while holding a combination of buttons. That was like the glitch from last week where everyone was saying you got to keep spamming A as you, um, you run around with your defender. Tuning to increase non-engaged pass rush moves by AA pass rushers on an all Madden and all pro difficulty level. So, tuning to increase non-engaged pass rush moves. I wonder, I wonder what that means there. Tuning to catch knockouts to reduce late knockouts, drops, and contact. See, I haven't really noticed that issue as much. I mean... Maybe actually, maybe I have. I've noticed in my franchise league a few times, like I'll throw it deep to Marquise Brown, I'll catch it, and it'll just get bumped from behind and just drop the ball. Actually, I've noticed that a decent amount. Pass coverage improvements, that's big because I'm kind of tired of being burnt. Like literally, when I get my franchise games, I come out, I instantly play game plan, play the deep pass. I come out, I shade over the top, and I do pass almost every time. It's really ridiculous. The franchise updates, I wonder what that is because franchise has a plethora of, up, of issues right now. So many issues. I don't know about you guys, but franchise has been killing our ass right now. Like, there's just so much problems with franchise. Like, I love the mode and I hate the mode at the same time. But, moving on, guys. We got LTs. We got Harrison Smith, the slow poke himself. It's actually a decent Harrison Smith card, actually. He usually has, like, 87 speed. 94 overall, which means he will be a 95 powered up. He gets 90 speed, 92 excel, 92 tackle, 94 play rec, 94 pursuit, 80 man coverage, 80, 93 zone, 94 hit. So, this card's not bad because if you power him up, you will have 91 speed, 93 excel. He's like six foot two or six foot three. He'll okay, get 95 player, 95 pursuit, 94 man, 95 hit power. This card's a super well rounded beast. I actually really do like this card. I just think that'll be really, really expensive, which would be the problem. Teron Armstead. Left tackle for the Saints, practically a mutt and franchise staple at left tackle. One of the best left tackles usually in the game. 89 strength, 94 tackle, 95 pass block, 94 pass block power, 95 pass block finesse. Wow, he's a good pass blocker. 91 run block, 87 run block power, 91 run block finesse. I would have taken a little off his pass block and tossed it on the, the run block power. But powered up, guys, going to be like 95, 96 across the board at pass blocking, above uh, 91, 92, and the 188 at run blocking. And I'm pretty sure he's decently athletic and 90 strength. He's probably you know, he's going to get all the abilities you want. He's going to be really good. Next, guys, another team captain token is coming, so stay on the lookout for that. All happening probably tomorrow. Um, Gear Lance all with up to 92. I think they should really get these team captains up to 94s at this point. It's kind of like, you know what I never understood? Similar to most things, when you have a captain, captain is supposed to be like the best player in your team or at least like the leader of your team, someone you can use. These guys aren't really even usable to an extent. Like, I, I wish that these could help. This should, this should help everyone. Like, if you have this player on your team, this is how they should make team captains to help out the no money spend budget guys and even God squads. They should make team captains always tied for the highest overall in the game. So pretty much anyone that logs into this game can get their team captain up and they have a player that can compete on the main stage, right? Because it's kind of annoying that, you know, if you're a no money spend squad, Lance Allworth might be your best player. And compared to God squads, he's like four overalls under. Meanwhile, if they made him like a 95 overall, anyone that can get their captain up would have a player that they could spam online and still have a chance of competing with, right? It's just my personal opinion. Next up, we have Gridiron Forge coming tomorrow. The player is now confirmed 92 overall, Jalen Phillips. So it wasn't 92. We did assume it'd be a 92, 93. I was hoping it would be in that range. I didn't want it to be anything less because this will actually be a really usable card. So you go, you get the 70 plus, 78 plus gold player pack. You get the pro fantasy pack. You get the gridiron pack. Gridiron pack, actually same one. You get the 92 overall in that Jalen Phillips. You get the power for Jalen Phillips and you get an elite player pack. This is going to be the card. Now he actually looks super solid. Left outside linebacker, speed rusher, 90 speed, 91 excel, 86 strength, 
86 tackle, 88 play rec, 88 block shed, 82 power move, 90 finesse move, double dolphins cam. This is actually a really, really good card. I'm super excited with the card they actually chose to go with, that it wasn't just complete trash. But if you guys can get the right strategy card in him that can give him the plus one block shed, guys, that would be huge. Because that means that if you power him up and get the block shed on him, he'll be a 93 overall with 90 block shed, he'll have 91, 92 finesse move ish. He'll have 91 speed, 92 excel. He'll be an absolute goon if you can get the block shit up. I really do like this card. Next, guys, we have all the team builders to go through. So let's get through that. I'm not going to go through them one by one because there's 32 of them. But Darnell Mooney, good speed, good deep route running. If you can get the deep route running plus one plus the power up, it's still pretty decent. It's it's a pretty decent card. DJ Reader, great block shit if you power him up. So I guess he's a run stuffer. Again, these cards are meant for theme teams. So don't think they're, they're not meta based. They're not going to be cards everyone can use. Levi Wallace, super athletic. Can't really cover too well. Decent theme team guy. Micah Kaiser, um, decent athleticism, decent, de well-rounded card. I wouldn't use him. Baker Mayfield, he's garbage. Um, Leonard Fournette, halfback for the Bucks. We got 89 speed, so powered up of 90 speed, decent power, not great. Christian Kirk, 92 speed, pretty decent route running. Um, I guess we get in the Cardinals theme team as like a third or fourth. And then we got, let's see, Uchenna and Wosu. You got 85 speed, 89 excel, 87 finesse move. Card's trash. Can't can't run stuff. Can't hit 90 finesse move. Decent athleticism. McCall Hardman, 93 speed, 88 deep route running, powered up. That's actually pretty good. If you could get the deep route running up too for whatever reason, this card would actually be pretty good. Although I'm not exactly the biggest fan of this card because it's going to take a decent amount to actually get him up. Let's see what else we got going on next. So as we move on, we got Julian Blackman, 88 overall free safety. Doesn't get the 90 zone threshold. Only gets the 91 speed. Not the greatest. Tyler Beatis, however you say his name, 88 strength, 90 awareness. He's kind of trash. I mean, he's an 88, he's an 88 center, and all of his blocking stats are below 88. Okay. Jerome Baker, this card's decent. 90 speed, 89 excel. If you just want like a user middle linebacker that you could just have there if you actually like to use linebackers and you don't care about safeties in the linebacking spot. Decent blocks, a decent net power with good speed. Avante Maddox. Decent on Eagles theme team because he will have a 93 speed with 94 excel with an 88 man. That's not horrible. Steven Means, 84 speed, barely can run stuff, barely can pass rush, not a fan. Mike McGlinchey, this card's actually good. This is a good card. See, this is my point. When you have an 88 card, you can't make them so well-rounded that they're all low 80s. He gets powered up all 90 run blocking. I love that. Even if he can't pass block too well, if you want to have a team that can run, or if you're on a 49er Steam team, you just got a stud right tackle that can run block. It's just it's a win in that sense. Billy Price for the Giants, this is what I'm talking about. He's so well-rounded that he can't do anything above 90. Uh, I guess on a Giants team team, it helps because their O-line's probably garbage. But that is, that's pretty good, I guess. LaVisca Chenault, um, 91 speed, can't route run, can barely catch too well. Yeah, not pass. Tyler Croft, 85 speed, 80 run blocking. Uh, as, a, as a blocking tight end, he's not too bad because you can get the run blocking and 85 speed enough for him to actually catch something. Alex Anzalone, 88 speed, powered up with 92 excel. 89 zone, that can get up to 90. 80 blocks, are super well-rounded. Um, Lions team team, of course, only, but not bad. Randall Cobb, 90 speed, can't do anything else, bad. Jermaine Carter, horrible. Jacoby Myers, uh, horrible. Denzel Good, he's, he's okay. I guess on a Raiders team, I can see the use for him. We got Van Jefferson, 91 speed, wet, very well-rounded, still trash, though. Patrick Queen's actually pretty decent because he will get 91 speed, 92 excel with 88 hit power. If you're going to user him and 80 block shed, he's actually a pretty good user at linebacker, of course. Adam Humphreys, he's trash. We got Pete Werner, middle linebacker with 91 speed, 93 excel, powered up, 89 hit power, and 81 zone, having that block shed. He's not bad. Good on the Saints team. DJ Reed Jr. And remember, I'm taking this for 88 overalls, like what they are, because again, people are going to be like, oh, the, all these cars suck. Nah, I mean, not all of them. There's some, some have a use. DJ Reed Jr., 90 speed, 92 excel, can't cover at all. Again, Saints, Seahawks only. Deontay Johnson. Yeah, I don't like this card either. Justin Reed. 92 speed, 92 excel, 86 zone. I don't like the zone or any of that, but he's a pretty fast user. It's Justin Reed. He could use him. I know Texans team they definitely need. They definitely need this. Taylor Luan. He's a pretty bad pass protector and a pretty bad run blocker. He's really not that great at either one. Uh, I mean, I guess he has the 87, 88, but still, I guess he can get the pass blocking up to like an 89 if he powers him up. He'll be decent on the Titans team team. Eric Kendricks. This card is garbage. All right, guys, this is going to be the set for tomorrow. You can you exchange all these 88s in. I mean, all, all these elites in, and you get the 88 team builder. And then there's going to be the team builder two goals, which you can probably go ahead and get a free one or earn some players towards it. That's about it. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that on bell. Give us a big thumbs up. And, of course, you want to have 
a chance at winning an underdog fantasy and want to go join the squad head on down below to my link and of course use my code and let me know if you guys need any help with anything but thanks so much for watching i'm out peace